Hello, hello. Okay, so time for a video. So, um, the letter for today, Dr. J posted in the channel yesterday. Uh, only one person responded or one person posted so far. So, that's who I assess. So, uh, let's have a look at the case notes first of all. So, I don't know if you can see these. Dr. Joseph, uh, he posted these and in line with the usual thing, important information is in the green, less important or totally irrelevant information is red and a secondary information usually is yellow. Okay. So this is useful in terms of structure and layout. You know, um, some, some people often ask or say, but they don't know what's the best way to you know choose the information i keep saying the same thing time and time again put yourself in the position of the reader what would they he she want when reading your letter so firstly we go to the task okay referral dr macaulay brown further management so we want him to perform laparoscopic or vaginal hysterectomy okay and also to advise about losing weight and re-education about exercises so the important thing first the hysterectomy got to be sorted out and the secondary thing is the weight and the uh, pelvic floor exercises okay so that's pretty straightforward so let's have a look scroll down we've got social background don't need that this medical history in the 70s, don't need that. Carpal tunnel, again, don't need that. So I don't know why we've got 2017 and 2014 here. I don't know if they've got those dates wrong. Maybe they uh, have. Maybe this should be, I don't know, that's 2017, then it's June 2014. I'm not quite sure what is going on there, but still. So they came in 13th of June, prolapse, they could see the cervix, put on some weight. Okay, okay, second de degree. Okay, okay, that's pretty straightforward. I think the other case notes are the same. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> I'll just make this a little larger. I'll put some changes on and we'll see. So. I'm writing to request your further management of Mrs. Langley. Now, okay, first um, thing, you don't need a period after Mrs. Don't need it. You only need it, or you should use it when it's a abbreviation like Admiral or Captain or Superintendent, etc. Okay, so we don't need uh, that at all. So the next thing, well, we can work out the year from a DOB and do we need to know that she's a health inspector well no that's irrelevant essentially and if we get rid of this we now have a defining relative a clause beginning with who I'm writing to request your further amendment of Mrs Langley who has a second degree Prolapse and stress incontinence secondary to her prolapse. Um, well, I don't really know if we need to do um, that. We could say who has a second degree prolapse as well as stress incontinence. We can just simply say uh, that. No need for um, secondary to her prolapse. That should be obvious from the context. Okay, get rid of that. Okay, okay, okay. You could maybe, so this is the main medical issue and reason for writing. Um, you could have also mentioned something about education and, um, and training in pelvic floor exercises. Though, as that's not so important, you can maybe put that uh, at the bottom, you know, here. So, um, what's, what's this? Therefore, she has been re-educated? Well, I thought you want them to re Educate her. Let's have a look at it again. What's it say? Uh, where are we? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
re-educate. Yeah, yeah. So you want the reader, the gynecologist, to re-educate uh, them. Weight uh, loss advise re-educate about uh, pelvic floor exercises. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, in 2017, this is Alex from Uterine Products. Now you could put an article there. I would do. Oops. Ah. After the onset of menopause, which was treated with a pessary. In addition, those were advised. Okay. Okay. Now we're supposed to use a passive form, yes, because it's supposed to be a formal as a letter. But pelvic floor exercises were advised. Mean it kind of reads that the the pelvic floor exercises are the subject, and they were advised. I mean, sorry the object, and they were advised. So you mean she was advised to do or to take pelvic floor exercises, yeah? So there's no need to make it it passive. So you say, like, in addition, she was advised uh, to take up or to begin or to start pelvic uh, for exercises. So, in addition, she was advised to take pelvic for exercises, and she was prescribed, etc. Okay, so that's not bad. Just get rid of that. As I say, some, as I've said before, some sentences in passive are a little bit awkward, shall we say. Okay, that's good. Okay, however, on her subsequent, now when exactly was this secondary visit? Now, these case notes, so let me see here. It says June 2018, so these, these case notes are a bit confusing. Um, 13th of June, medical history 2017, and then it says June 2014. So I don't know if this means June 2017 she came, you know, so I'm, I'm not quite sure what is going on here, but um, because this is written in June now, so maybe there's a date that is missing here. Maybe she came first at the beginning of June, but even so 2014, 20, you know, I'm confused, right? I don't know what is going on here. So I think that's to do with the notes. I think they've been uh, incorrectly reproduced, maybe. So I'm not sure what is going on there. But there was some kind of a visit. I don't know exactly when. Not only was she experiencing urinary continence, uh, isn't that incontinence? I mean, when you can't hold it in, isn't it incontinent? If you are continent, it means you can hold in your piss. If you're incontinent, it means you cannot. So shouldn't that be incontinence? Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, it must be incontinence, but you know, because if she was continent, why would you mention it? So, but, uh, okay. Not only was she experiencing urinary incontinence, don't need that comma, but her pro now, why is there a but? Right, but now we use um, these words such as but, it's a conjunction essentially, but we also use it to indicate a contrast like however, although, etc. But we use it when there's a contrast or contradiction in a sentence. Something is good, but something is, is bad, you know, or something such as that. So, uh, if she is experiencing incontinence, that's obviously not, not good, but her prolapse has worsened. Well, it shouldn't be, surely then it should be and also not a, a but because there's not a contrast there. Yeah. Uh, she was experiencing incontinence. Uh, not only was she experiencing urinary incontinence, but also 
So if you want to use but, but, we also have to have but also, or just and. So, but also, mm, no, but. Get rid of it. And says, also her prolapse has worsened over time. Ah, okay, okay. It was discussed. What is it? Uh, again, use of, of passive. So it was discussed that her weight gain. So weight gain must be it. Um, but you usually use a, a pronoun to refer back to something that you've previously mentioned. So there's no point in putting a pronoun first when you can refer forwards, but usually we use a, a pronoun to refer backwards. So um, why not simply say we? We discussed um, that a weight gain might be the possible cause of her deteriorating symptoms. Okay, okay. Moreover, the patient had not been able to tolerate. Okay, okay. Now, use of pronouns here. Okay. So usually at the beginning of a paragraph, you use a full name of the person, right? So, uh, Mrs. Langley's subsequent visit. Then we can use her, she, the patient, etc. Okay. Moreover, the patient not been able to tolerate vaginal pessary and admitted she's not following a pelvic exercise regime. On the view today, Mrs. Langley's vital signs were unremarkable. If they were, then why mention them? You know, if it's not remarkable in any sense, why would you tell me something that's um, not important. Oh, by the way, I saw the patient. Absolutely nothing was wrong. Oh, but she had something. Why not simply say, you know, on review today, uh, on cervical examination, I could see the cer... And why is it... So this is written today. So why have you used past perfect in passive? Why are you, are you using that? Now, we, we usually use past a perfect, well, one of the reasons is to identify the sequence, you know, so you've got two past events, usually one in simple past and the other in past a perfect, which is had plus verb number three, past participle. And the idea is to show which of the past events finished before the second past event. So it's usually the simple past is closer, past perfect is farther back. So uh, by the time I got home, simple past, the football game had started. Past perfect, yeah? So I got home, but before that the football game had had started. So I'm not sure why you've used this here. I'm, and why is it passive? So it's today, you are writing this now, presumably you're the one who examined her. So why is it passive? Was she examined by someone else? You know? Okay. Uh, how about cervical examinations? The cervix could, uh, the cervix was visualized or is visualized or is, uh, is visible, you know, make it present as simple. Um, so examination, the cervix. Okay, so I know it's written on the same day, but you're writing this later than the examination. So you could use is, is visual or is, is visible, I should say, uh, if you wrote it immediately afterwards. Or you could uh, just make it the, the simple part. So was visible instead of had been visualized because because that doesn't like it work and visualized is not the same meaning as visible it's a, a different uh, word it's got the same root word this to see but visible and visualized are not not the same um <clears throat> okay Please note, she has gained 10 kilograms in the last six 
uh, months. Okay, why should we note this? Why should we note it? Only if you're going to link it to something else. So simply dropping in a sentence without explaining it. Now, if we can work it out from the context, fine. But in in general, you know, it's always good to make some some kind of correlation. You know, so she's gained ten kilograms in the last six months, which may be worsening her symptoms or something such as that. Right. So instead of just dropping in a sentence, connect it up to something. Okay. Therefore, she has been re-educated. Why is it uh, present perfect passive? She has been re-educated. Um, regarding weight loss policies and weight loss program. Well, how can you be re-educated regarding weight loss program? Well, A, weight loss or uh, re-educated what? She's been advised to continue her regular exercise and to lose weight you could say uh, that okay in view of the above we appreciate that you can use a microscopic or vaginal hysterectomy okay just get rid of those periods um okay okay so not too bad not too bad just a couple of things gotta watch out for some verb uh, forms. So let's see. We don't really need uh, we don't really need this at the start. You can rework that uh, article there. Reword that. That sounds a little bit better. Um, put the patient's name at the beginning of your paragraph. That should be, I believe, incontinence. The opposite of continence. We need also instead of but because it's not a contrast uh, because both are negative. Yeah, I mean, so um, like you could use but here. So you know, so you say something like her signs were un unremarkable, but there was etc. Or however in this example. Okay. So we discussed instead of it was uh, make it 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 simple past instead of uh, past perfect passive and okay that's not so bad not so bad.